Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. Britt Marino has the night off. We've made a lot of progress since the start of the year in the effort to vaccinate Americans from COVID-19. However, we did fall short of President Joe Biden's goal to have at least one shot in the arms of 70% of Americans by yesterday. But now just over 67% of Americans have received their first dose. But while health officials work to get more people vaccinated, vaccine experts are developing new technology to reach other places in the world where vaccine rates are lagging much further behind. KXAN's Avery Travis has more on how a breakthrough technology from UT Austin is being used in a COVID-19 patch halfway across the globe. I don't look at it. It's safe to say most people don't enjoy needles. I'm very scared of them. And with a little one who's afraid of them too, a Projita Gautam says a needleless vaccine sounds much better. Pretty much anybody could just put it on their arm um, and, and use it. Researchers at the University of Queensland in Australia and a company called Vaxis are testing a vaccine patch, basically a tiny device covered in thousands of micro applicators to deliver protection through the skin. Its roots are in Austin. Basically, they're coated with our second generation stabilized spike protein. It's an extension of the breakthrough technology developed by Jason McClellan and his team at UT Austin last year. Their stabilized spike protein still serves as the basis for all three vaccines authorized for distribution in the U.S. I'd say relatively small percentage of the global population population that's been vaccinated with some estimates that people in certain countries may not be vaccinated until 2022 or 2023. The early research shows this patch can be kept at nearly room temperature for about a month, which McClellan says will open up more distribution opportunities. It can be shipped um, you know, just in the mail. You can probably do it at home, do it yourself. Testing is still in the early phases on mice, but the researchers at the University of Queensland say they've seen strong immune responses so far. That's really exciting. Everyone in Texas and America can take pride in the fact that, you know, we can create things like this that'll help so many people. In Austin, Avery Travis, KXAN News. The researchers said the patch showed positive signs it could protect against variants as well as including the UT UK and South African variants.